Yo, welcome to my crib. I thought my first video, I can get real personal with y'all. There's no better way of getting personal than showing you where I live. Come on in and let me show y'all around. Oh shoot, wait, 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 back up a little bit, back up a little bit. Pan over to, to the left, you got great collection. I call these right here, my everyday guys. Check these out, man, we got a couple Air Max. Oh shoot, my hat. <laughs> the New York, Do some cool ones right here. I'm a big sneakerhead if you didn't know, but you gonna find out real, real soon. These are probably my favorite everyday guys right here. Great for running errands in and still be stylish. You feel me? The pandas with the off-white laces. My hat collection. Oh, might as well show y'all the hat collection too. Couple bad boys. The New York Athletics. Oakland. Yay! New York again, but with the red. Red my favorite color. If you didn't know. <laughs> Dodgers, my favorite team. This might be my second favorite hat. The Blue Jays just. The way that it look with the little touch of red, red maple leaf, you feel like pff, the blue is just, uh, just different. It's a million dollars worth of game. The stacks, had to get it. She was legit. Dry fit workout hats. Lotion right by the door, cause man, one, th one thing I hate is when you're leaving the door and the last thing, your hands are ashy. Hate that, hate that more than anything. So gotta get it, bro. We gonna move on over to What's next? The fridge. Man, I'm a bachelor. I almost like got nothing in here. <laughs> Man, I don't got a fucking thing up in here, bruh. Yeah, it's empty. <laughs> Pomegranate juice. I got hella liquid. Defense up, this right here. It prevents you from getting sick. Real good things in it. You have, you have oranges, apples, mangoes, pineapples. Favorite thing to drink. Just in case I don't, if I don't have my smoothie in the morning, I'll uh, make sure I take a drink of this, man. I was making tacos the other night. Some picos, some butter. You feel me? Plant butter, the healthy butter. You feel me? No, that not weird. Sh Defrosting some chicken for my tacos when I make them. I make them with the dark meat. Cause I'll do that. That um, the white meat on the on my tacos, bro. A gang of water, 20 bottles of water in here, cold water, just in case you do cold water. My favorite, the room temperature. We got three bags over there, the 40 packs. Blueberries, strawberries, you feel me? A little bit healthy in here. Shit, let's see. Going down to the freezer. Yeah, my shit different. My shit different. Yeah, it's pretty much nothing in here either. You feel me? You gotta go grocery shopping for a fact. Got some frozen chicken, organic, of course. Got some ice cream. Ben and Jerry shots to them because they make the best ice cream. We got some vegan spring rolls. And shit, that's pretty much it for the freezer. I know. Gotta go grocery shopping. We don't do there. We don't do there. Now, let me show y'all the rest of the kitchen. Healthy snacks, bro. I try to be as healthy as possible, man. Raw organic honey. I add that to my smoothies. Make sure your boy It's right. It's good. Microwave. You feel me? If you, don't, if you don't got this in your microwave, your microwave dirty, dog. Because the food be popping. The chicken and pizza or whatever that you're cooking, bro. If you don't clean this, Nasty dog. I be seeing some people's microwaves and they be splat, just dirty everywhere. It's not mine. I'm a shit spotless because I don't want to be mixing different flavors and chemicals from different foods in my different food. Now, if I want to eat some chicken, heat it up on the microwave. Bruh, I just want to taste chicken. I don't want to taste three week old pizza. <laughs> Yeah, ain't nothing too different with the stove, bro. Regular stove, all my shit clean though, nigga. Backsplash is something that's like, like an artist created this. You feel me? But who was the artist? It was me, your boy. I'm the one that picked it out. You know what I mean? Deep sink, all that. Shoot it. You know what I mean? 
get busy over here, bro. I won't wash the dishes, bro. <laughs> bro, one thing about it, bro, you always got to keep these on deck, bro. Black gloves when you cook and also when you're cleaning. The ninja, we on deck. Oh, don't even forget, bro. We, we stack with. Yeah. Paper towels, we stacked. Don't even get it twisted over here, bro. We clean. Washing machine, bro. Tell y'all a secret. I have never used a washing machine before, so I don't even know if it works, to be honest. And I've been here for two and a half years. One day I'm gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna share it with you guys when I turn it on. I don't know how to work it, but it works though, though. I don't know if the water worked though, you know? Look. Yeah, you know what I mean? It works. The one and two punch combo for damn near all meals that I eat. The air fryer. And we always put the foil in there because it makes it that much easier to clean. You just take the foil out, throw it away, put another foil in there, two sheets of foil, and then I put my food on top of it, and then I cook it. Life hack. Rice cooker. Come on, man. Come on, you need that. Me, one and two, bro, good to go. Yeah, you know I mean, but that's the kitchen. Yeah, we're gonna step on over to the bathroom since we're already here, Mazel. Well. The bathroom is kind of small though, so the angles is gonna be a little bit different, but check it. Got my toilet, you feel me? And it's only me, so having a small bathroom ain't the worst thing. My sink, facial products that these are boy looking smooth and sexy. You know what I mean? Got a gang of do-rags here. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to get the 360 waves. I don't got them yet, but you know, I'm gonna get them. So don't even trip, don't even trip, don't even trip. We good. Got my shower. My shower is right here. Glass door, probably damn near the best feature in the bathroom is this glass door. I'm never going back. I ain't going back to one of them the, the curtains, I'm not going back to the curtains, bruh. Like, I'm not going back. This glass door is just a must, bro. Whoever created this glass door for the shower, y'all deserve a statue, for real, though. I don't know, I get the best ideas when I'm in the shower. I'm the most grateful in the shower. Bro, the shower is just, I don't know, when you clean your body, it just gets you to a whole different type of level. It all, it like, makes you, ah, when you get out the shower, when you get, when I get out of here, dog. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much where I keep my fresh towels, fresh facial facial towels, some more paper towels. This is my yoga towel when I go to hot yoga. And of course, wet ones. If you're doing a number two and you are not using wet ones, you are uncivilized. They need to put you in an asylum or something. Real talk, cause you walking around with smeared dookie all over your drawers. Please go get you some wet ones. Stop with the smearing, cause that shit is gross. If you stepped in dog poop, would you smear it off or would you try to like get a hose to rinse it off? I'll let you answer that question. Wet ones always. This is basically the bathroom, bro. <laughs> like, ain't a lot of moving around here, you know what I mean? I don't have the biggest place. But one day I will, one day I will. They go. So this is my living room, bro. This is the infamous living room. <laughs> Do not like couches that are so damn high. I like my couch low. I don't like them high. And I like my couch to be able to like a, it's like a twin size bed, bro. I lay on here comfortably. Look, you got multiple pillows. Like, bro, we good. You feel me? Crack my book. The thing that people, whenever they come to my place, they associate my place with a thing that's like cemented, like a statue at my place is the Naruto rug. Yes, my guy. I still got my Christmas tree up. But look, though, I know a lot of people that got a good Christmas tree up still. So don't worry about it. <laughs> nah, but I'm about to take it down like, Tomorrow. I don't have a lot of things hanged up, but the things I do have hanged up on my walls are very important to me and they just really just keep me focused. Mindset is everything. You got the fish, there's a 
attach a shark fin on him. That's who he inspires to be, but he's already acting upon it and speaking upon it to become one of the dangerous fishes in the sea. So mindset is everything. It's not about where you start, it's about where you're going. Success is all you see. That's just the tip of the iceberg. But success comes with a lot of things. Hard work, persistence, late nights, rejections, sacrifices, discipline, criticism, doubt, failure, and all type of risks you're putting on the line. Me doing YouTube comes with all that. And one day, I'll be a successful YouTuber. Facts don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. Move on over to my computer. And this is my desk area. The Mac is where I edit my videos. My two dual screens is where I stream. When I stream on Twitch, hey, follow your boy on Twitch. Just the three stacks. I leave the thing in the description. My PC, let me tell y'all. I don't know much about PC gaming and PCs or none of that computer stuff. All I know, it's a very good PC. Sky Tech Gaming created this PC. You know what I mean? Joint can switch colors. Got the purple pink looking thing right here. The rainbow looking color, you feel me? Glitchy, glitchy colors and whatnot. That just got, a, that's just a lot going on. You feel what I'm saying? I like it when it's just simple not too much going on. My vision board. I used to keep my vision board where my mirror is in my room, but one of my coworkers told me, you should keep your vision board where you're working to achieve creating those visions into reality. And this is where the magic really goes down. This is where the hard work goes down, man. It's right here on my desk. Now, on over to the book collection. I got a few books and I can go through them all, but I'm gonna show y'all my favorite book, my favorite book of all. Right here, man, The Four Agreements. And a lot of people have read this, but not a lot of people have implemented it into their life. Trust, I know. But yeah, I got hella books in here, but we can go through them all. That'll be like a different video for other things. All right, now we're gonna head on over to the one and only bedroom. The bedroom five. Queen size bed, bro. One of my favorite things is definitely my rug of a dollar. You feel me? When I wake up every morning, man, you gotta get it. Ain't nobody gonna get it for you, so you gotta make it happen. But I gotta wear them one time, fresh out the box, before I put them in containers. That's just my rule. Other people do it differently. We got the Air Forces on this side. You feel me? One of my favorite, I call these the, the Camerons. These are the Camerons, the pink Air Forces. They got sway on them. I hardly wear them. Nipsey Hustle collab. Got the 13s, the 4s, got three threes, really got four threes. Probably my favorite ones are right here. Lucky Greens, just with the red lace, bro. The bro, it just everything about this shoe. You feel me? The soul, bro, just everything about this shoe is just, just beautiful, bro. Just, it's just beautiful, dog. So that's probably my favorite ones. When you organize your life, everything just starts falling into place. I'm telling you, bro. Like, I was kind of all over the place before, but when I got this calendar about three years ago, four years ago, everything started falling into place, bro. I put goals, when I'm gonna do things. Calendar right here is magical, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I really believe it. When I write things on this calendar, bro, it really turns out to become my reality. But don't forget, bro, prayer without works is dead. Manifestation without works is dead. At the end of the day, bro, you still got to put in that damn work. People be forgetting. People think you just can write it down, or you can think about it, or you can just pray about it. Man, it don't work like that, bro. That's not how life works. I'm not feeling like that guy. I'm not feeling like that nigga. I come here and say my affirmations to uplift my spirits because the three most powerful words are I am and whatever comes after that. So you gotta say it out loud, you feel me? My top one, I am great, I am healthy, I am handsome, I am confident, I am healed, I am smart, and so on and so forth. I ain't share everything with y'all cause that's a little personal. Yo, and that's my place. I appreciate y'all. Hit your boy with the like button cause that works and it helps your boy move up on them algorithms. We dropping a video every week, every Sunday. I appreciate y'all. Y'all be cool, y'all be easy. Peace. Swimming in regret is not cardio. This boy Drizzy Drake Rogers. <laughs>